is that? Having gloves on. Oh, 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 oh. oh what are these? Ooh. Makes me. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. What is you? I say this all the time hustle, grind, rewind is a way of life. It is not a motto. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates of all ages, it is Sunday morning. I don't know if this will be part of a vlog, start of a vlog, end of a vlog, but we are here at the flea market right now. We are here for two specific reasons. We are hunting treasure and we are hunting thieves. I need to see if I can find anybody selling my stuff. I've been looking at the market daily. I won't give up. I, you guys don't understand. Maybe you do because you watch me and you know me, but I never give up. When I want something, need an answer, got somewhere to be, whatever it is, I don't quit, period. So let's get on with the show. Man is pretending like he can read. Ridiculous, isn't it? Look at this kid. This is him. You got my 40 bucks, Mr. No, I got three dollars. How do you sad though? No, it's sad as today. Ladies and gentlemen, we can't trust this man. We can't. We can't. I like uh, a hunting we will go. A hunting we will go. Hi ho the Dario. A hunting we will go. We are going to see if we can find this criminal. So far, not so good. We are gonna walk around because we are not giving up. I do happen to see the guy that one of the people said it may be. He called me to go say something to him. This chest strap is annoying. It constantly rides up. I feel like I'm wearing a bad bra that I've never worn a bra. Good morning, amigo. Hey, Mike, good morning. How you doing? Anything good? Well, huh? You get stolen, huh? They tried to. They don't. You got your stuff back? I don't get my stuff back, but they don't take the truck, which is more important. John, what's up, buddy? What's wrong, Mike? How you doing? Doing well. What are you up to? You selling out here? Oh. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Doing well. Optimus Prime. How much is that? 15. All right, interesting revelations. Uh, the cops, I don't think they do their job quick enough. I came out here hunting, walking the flea market. I'm done, but I found out some very important information. See, first off, a friend, uh, first off, when a guy said it was somebody, he said it was somebody that I know. So I right away contacted that person. He got a hold of me, and it turns out it wasn't him. But through the grapevine, I now know the name of the person who broke into my truck. Not just if I have a photo of him, and I know where he's at, and I know his name. Now I have to decide, what I want to do next. I should have been a detective. All right, here we are back at this $770 unit. We got to load up all the stuff that we deemed not great, fill this hole up for Monday Stockton, and maybe do a little filming. I'm unsure. We'll see how far we get. Um, it was like no one else in the world even knew it. Storage auction pirate, man. $100 super chat. Taco, you're one of the best out there. You keep it real and show the reality of our business. I respect that with all love. I'd love to attend a 50 unit with you and see if we can find some gold and silver. Gold, silver, and gems. He does storage auctions. He keeps it real. There's no pony show kind of thing. It's the real deal. Over there, Taco Stacks. Found this records while we're loading. Because look, I'm literally watching YouTube, recording, loading for the market, Unboxing treasures while well, watching one of my favorite YouTubers. Most of this unit's been crap, but we're going to go ahead and look and make sure none of these records are anything of value. Rage to Rufus, Shaka Khan, there's your man. This is all good music right here. Paul Skaggs. All right. I don't think and I see anything right there that jumped out of screen extreme value either. And we got some regular. It looks like it's starting to look like these people had a store of some form. That is Cynthia Inc. Close. All right, where's the good stuff in your store? <laughs> Storage auction pirate come back in again with a five dollar super check. Greatly appreciate it, man. Take me to an auction. I promise we'll find some treasure. Thank you, man. I swear, I think I'm about to have a tear in my eye, but I think Taco gave me a wrench. I love this man. I do. I do. That's why he's one of my favorite YouTubers. Shout out to you, Mr. Taco Stacks. If you guys out there do not watch Taco. Which uh, quite possibly a lot of you do because the man has like all the subs on YouTube. 
Great dude. Buy storages and more. Trash picking. Making cash. Cleaning the universe. Showing love. Show him some love. Tell him the pirate sent you if you don't already subscribe. This box is master bedroom. I haven't been filming hardly anything because I don't feel intrigued. But every time I open up a box, it's not really what it says on the side. That has intrigue. Hold on a second. Let's continue and see what we can find. That almost had intrigue. The sound of it did. But there's nothing in here to see but SpongeBob. <laughs> intriguing right here screw that back screw that back two mom from yon tomorrow okay personal broken uh, let's have more potential than i'm seeing right now it reminded me of a potential jewelry box but now i'm just seeing person That looks like possible. Ooh, shoot. Michael, slow down. Because you just dropped something. What'd you drop? Now that you broke. Ooh. Is that weird that Jesus jumped out? Interesting. These people are definitely church folk. That's why I, I almost get the feeling that this was a church style unit. I bought those here before. Those look almost like gold, too. All right, carrying on. The type of unit where you got to start looking in everything when you find the certain things because it's kind of like a pack rat hoarder almost style. These don't look too intriguing to me. I don't see any name brands. A G, you think Gucci, but I don't think that's Gucci. It stands for China. Then we get some frame in Italy, but no words. Okay. I should be really careful sticking my hands in things with no gloves on. I always get a lot of heck for not having gloves on. Oh, oh, oh. oh what are these? Okay. See what I mean? You gotta watch. I have a good feel for things. It's, I know a lot of people don't believe me. I know I do miss things sometimes, but. I pulled these watches out. This one almost looks like gold. It is a. I can't read that. Neurot. It says, or Nero. But it's not gold. It almost looks like it. This one here, where I noticed that I wasn't recording just a second ago, has, looks like dimes, silver dimes. So this is going to be neat if it is. <laughs> no. No. And yes. Ooh, be in 1943, 1955, 1941. Uh, I guess they're 1943, but those are the silver ones or the stainless ones. I would love to find a 1943. These are all 1943, I think. They're not even dimes. That one's a dime there. Okay, two dimes. Not bad. Ooh, found gold and silver. It's a gold and silver. All right, better than nothing. Those are gold. It's not a lot, but they are gold. These look like no precious metal this right here is beautiful look at that diamond right there it's missing what is that 
can't tell if that is it could be platinum it could be silver i don't know if those are real or not that's a pretty decent sized diamond though those are gold that's not bad i love when we find gold silver and gems those look gold this looks can't tell it's hard trying to look at this stuff through the camera because that's the way i look at things now guys and i'm trying Ooh, now these right here look like diamonds but not matching pair all right so that's a good sign where was the earrings i just picked up were those these okay that's a good sign we're finding gold silver and gems again see it got to go through umpteen boxes you guys want to see something i just loaded all of that you barely saw almost nothing there because that's what i feel was in there nothing and this is why we double check i didn't see this i was double checking something i found this right here look i found this one sitting there like that fell out so let me double check and oh see you guys don't see a lot of the double, triple checking that the pirate does. You just see the fast movement and fluid motion constantly in the videos. But trust and believe, I, I do a little more thinking than that. So yeah, this was right there sitting on the ground on this tote. Now what do we have? So we have sorted out what we found here. I saved you the trouble because my camera keeps messing up. And I keep thinking I'm filming. 14 carat. 14 carat wedding band right there. 14 karat ring potential gold 10 karat i think that's the mate to that one diamond earring right there less than a half a gram of gold and a potential diamond and all this wasn't gold i thought this was but you can see clearly it's it's wearing right there and stuff not bad though because gold silver and gems are on the way what are these Those are cute. Ah. These items are meant to be pendants or on a leather string swords. A chief carving a real one ornate as one of his badges is offices. Okay. We have to look into those. Those are intriguing. We got a scorpion necklace, right? What is this? Since you were a, ha a hairdresser, I thought you might enjoy this comb. Wow. That is nice. Stuff that... Hoo -hoo, what is this? This looks authentic right here. Some trades beads bought from traders who came to the door every evening. Ooh, what do you mean by tradesman beads? You can see that these are more... Almost look handmade. See the crudeness of the square? Whoa. Whoa. What are these? Oh, be careful, pirate. This one's got... These are intriguing. Does anybody know about these type of things right here? Because this bag was just like... <sighs> getting chills, getting chills. Okay. What's this one saying? Triple thorn figure carved by Isaiah from Nigeria. Three different thorns came from every large used in his carving. What the heck? Interesting as heck right here. I want to be careful with these because these could be something. I'm not sure. Makes me more wonder about this piece. If you remember from the other day, I'm just staring at it now. Like, does something like that have more value? Because now I'm seeing it came from somewhere, possibly. What do we have here? This is just a letter. An envelope or is this addressed to somebody? Pauline. Oh wow. We have been through a very hard and heated time for several weeks, cleaning out and refurbishing my sister's condo. However, I have heard from the uh, help they may enjoy having please accept the gift. Good luck in all your endeavors. Okay. Pauline, this was all gift for you from somebody. They were well taken care of. I like that they were having little notes with them because that means a lot. I think this might be 
queen ebony ebony i don't know what mask represents bought it in guava but not certain where it was carved a master carver to be able to carve all the woods in the ebony hmm interesting this might be a good find this is kind of cool the tears of a clown got here. These things are starting to get a little better, maybe. Now that we build into this unit a little bit. The doll baby. Having you somewhere. That's better than what I've been seeing. These boxes are getting interesting and weird all at the same time. Car books. What is this? Oh, what is this car at? They live in the city? It ain't cheap. Mm -hmm. So they had a car. This is weird. They took a, an old vintage can and made it like a, a chair. It's like the sun's about to go down and I can't stop digging. I found the gold and now my brain is racing a million miles an hour. I just want to find more gold. Baby milk in this black diamond tape classics. It's a scam, I think, people. It's a scam. Oh, oh. We're going to end this on this box right here because, well, it's just important to welcome in and believe in faith. And I think that's a good way to call it quits on this unit for today.